Hello everybody, Ben Rogers here of Courtside Digest for Riker. Obviously the talk of the NBA has been Ben Simmons over the past few days and ever since they've been knocked out, right? I'll play it, throw in the You're little Nate Robinson since they were knocked out by the Atlanta Hawks a couple days ago. Obviously the Hawks ended up winning. We got a we had a video drop on Trey Young yesterday. I think that's the order these videos are gonna come out. But Riker, we also had a little Woj bomb happen surrounding Ben Simmons. And Woj came out and said, because everyone was speculating that Ben Simmons is gonna get traded in this, that, and the Sixers remain committing to working through Simmons shooting issues this summer, especially free throws. Doc Rivers and Simmons met to discuss their plans for moving forward, but Riker, things as Woj talked on TV, said things are still being ironed out between the Sixers. Rich Paul has come in, Ben Simmons' agent, obviously LeBron's buddy, and we all know what Rich Paul does when one of his teammates, one of his uh, players are a bit disgruntled with their teams, and they're going to be talking further, and surely when Simmons doesn't develop that jump shot this summer, things are only going to get messier and messier. So we're taking a look at five possible trades that could happen or should happen with Ben Simmons this offseason. Riker, is there anything you want to say before we break out the trade machine? Well, you said disgruntled. Typically, it's because a star doesn't feel like they're winning. Mm -hmm. They're in the position to win. The right roster is around them to promote their winning. This is one of those rare times when literally everyone is disgruntled <laughs> except the star in question. His teammates are disgruntled. His coach is disgruntled. The whole entire franchise and fan base is disgruntled. Basically, everyone wants him out of here. Magic Johnson's on national television saying it's it. It's done. His career in Philadelphia is over. Would you be surprised if he didn't get traded? Before you break out the, the proposals, just really quick, would you be surprised if he does not get traded? I'd be surprised if he doesn't get traded. I would, I would also be surprised. Yeah. So in that spirit... Break out the trades. Let's break out the trade machine. It's coming up. <laughs> the spinning, it's cooking up right there. And Riker, the first trade, as with any proper trade machine, we got to break out Stinky Pinky. And this is just a straight up ugly one, gross one for the, 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 I think for both teams, honestly, here. But it's one I've seen rumored a lot around. Porzingis for Ben Simmons. Let's get the worst one right out of the way to start it off. What are your thoughts on this trade right here, Riker. I've heard Perzingis' name rumored. Lakers. Portland, I heard once or twice. Washington. Mm -hmm. I have not heard him rumored with Philadelphia. And to me, this one makes less sense because they don't have a real tight rotation point guard. And I don't know if you want to make a trade despite not liking your current point guard status to make a trade for a guy who's injury prone, not proven in the playoffs, a, a bit of a locker room sort of instigator whether there's truth behind that or he just hasn't been with the right organization yet i don't know i don't like this trade ben yeah i don't like it either for really either team having a non-shooter around luka Doncic just doesn't really make sense obviously the defense would help out in dallas a little bit there and i guess he would be fine in the dunker spot but they have guys like dwight powell marjanovic these types of players they they're a willie Cauley stein that could play at center because Simmons, I think that's a route he could potentially take if he leaves the Philadelphia 76ers. And I do remember in maybe 2018 when Kristaps Porzingis was all-star caliber player for the New York Knicks. There was a rumors when he was traded. Oh, imagine if he was traded to the Sixers. Simmons for, for Porzingis. That would be the dynamic, the Twin Towers and Joel Embiid and Kristaps Porzingis down there. Perfect compliments in the front court. Destructive defense and then... Obviously, Porzingis' value is tanked. Do you think that that front line could have any potential now at this point, or is Porzingis just too much of a question mark? Well, potential, potential is always there. But at a certain point, when a player repeatedly is getting injured, repeatedly is not performing as well as you'd want to in the playoffs, repeatedly is saying he doesn't want to be the second option. Well, guess what, buddy? You're going to go and be third fourth fiddle to yep. joel mb that's just the way it's going to work that's joel Embiid's team so i again i don't like this trade i don't see it working i think we can move right along to the next one let's get it and next one that's coming up here is another team that's rumored to be making deals this summer there was a report that came out today that said if uh damian lillard gives it the green light cj mccollum will be traded this offseason and this deal sends Ben Simmons and Seth Curry to the Philadelphia 76ers in return for CJ McCollum and Robert Covington. So 
one shooting guard for another shooting guard and one small forward for another small forward. Obviously, it says Ben Simmons a point guard on the trade machine and Robert Covington is a power forward. I think those are their natural positions. Switching size for size. CJ or Robert Covington obviously was an original member of the, the process and was traded to the Minnesota Timberwolves for Jimmy Butler. Seth Curry was a member of the Portland Trailblazers a couple years ago, so he'd be going home to them. Riker, what are your thoughts on this deal specifically? Dario Saric and Robert Covington were the spirit of the 76ers yep. back in the process days. I love those two together. This, we made this trade proposal similar vein for the Toronto Raptors receiving Ben Simmons to say, you'd make this move if you're Toronto Raptors, or we, we suggested you'd be willing to make the move if you're bringing back yep. Ben as a power forward center. Now, mm -hmm. our entire fan base on the Raptors side absolutely hated that trade. And they really flamed us for it. Mm -hmm. But I would make the exact same argument for Portland is Ben Simmons, defensive player of the year candidate. He's six foot 11 plus 200 pounds. He's able to guard guys, wing guys out there on the perimeter. So at his size, you can't make the argument to say he wouldn't be able to defend in the post, right? And defensive player of the year. So you're bringing in a guy who you would assume or is a deep, deep defensive player of the year in the run. Canada. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is you're bringing in a guy who's better defensively than Nurkic, and he's a better playmaker than Nurkic. Now, he doesn't have a three-point shot. Well, guess what? Neither does Nurkic really, right? Really? Now, if he had a mid-range game, there'd be better incentive here. But I think if you're offered this trade package and you're convinced that Ben Simmons will commit to playing the four or the five, you'd do this if you're Portland. But if he's coming in as a shooting guard point guard, obviously hard no, hard pass. That's fair. And honestly, either way, because he's not playing point guard. Damian Lillard there, he's just not playing point guard. So he would be off the ball, whether it's center or not. There's been rumors that Nurkic himself is a little bit disgruntled there in Portland. Feels like he's not getting the most out of him there, I've seen. But really, I don't understand that because he hasn't been available for Portland to really get him going. He's been injured so much. But I digress on that take. So Simmons coming in as a lead forward there. Obviously, you do have Cantor still on that roster and different guys. I think he'd be a, a really nice fit in Portland. This is a deal, obviously, Covington is an integral piece to the Trailblazers right now, so that's a tougher guy to let go. But Simmons, he brings you that defense, which they need, Portland really needs on their squad. Ideally, they might want to keep Covington, and I, I just don't think the, the straight-up CJ for Ben Simmons work. I feel like different pieces have to be added. You get some shooting there with uh, Seth Curry. Maybe picks go through either way because it's tough to really gauge what value players are at right now because Simmons went from this deal not even being close. Daryl Morey rumoredly being interested in Damian Lillard for Ben Simmons. And now it's sort of gone down to CJ McCollum, which obviously has a lot less value than Lillard. So maybe the, the Trailblazers have to have a, add a pick, but if you throw in Covington, those are all question marks right there. For the Sixers side of things, Yes, C.J. McCollum gets you that shooting that is necessary around a beat, and you bring back Covington, who is a 3 and D player, but it might not be enough for Ben Simmons. That's just my one little take on it. Oh, interesting. I think McCollum is enough to come in, even at point guard, if you wanted to play him there, yeah. or you can bring Maxi up and make him your starting point guard. Up to you. I don't hate that trade for them. What I do hate on the Portland side is they don't even really know their coaching situation, how that's going to work out. And Ben Simmons requires a lot of work. Yeah. So if your organization culture hasn't even been defined with the incoming coaching staff, then I, I don't think you can bring in a guy that's so much work. So I'm going to pass on this one. What's the next trade you have for us, yeah, Ben? Let's, let's break it out. And the third trade on this list is a really interesting one. I think there's been talks about Bradley Beal. He's looking to sign an extension or the Wizards are looking to sign him to an extension this offseason, and I'm not sure if he's going to go down. We'll see what's nice. actually going to happen. But Ben Simmons, Matisse Thybul, Tyrese Maxey, and probably some picks to the Washington Wizards in return for Bradley Beal and Bertons. Maybe, maybe no picks. This is really the offer that was sent out to James Harden when he demanded a trade. So this is the exact player base that Philly did not want to send over to the Houston Rockets. And now... It's the same deal for a lesser player than James Harden and a bad contract in Bertans, but obviously still a very high caliber player in Bradley Beal. Riker, Beal seems like the perfect sort of guy to complement a Joel Embiid, and Bertans, for as horrific as that contract is, would be a nice piece around Embiid, right? Just shooting the lights out. They need more shooting in Philadelphia around their superstar center. 
This one, I don't think the Wizards accept if Bradley Beal is willing to stay on their team, but if he doesn't sign that extension, things still get a little bit weird there. That's a nice return for the Washington Wizards. I wouldn't accept this one if I was Washington. I'd do this in a heartbeat if I was Philadelphia, obviously. You'd trade away Ben Simmons for just about anybody, it sounds like. (laughs) So to bring back the guy who is really just his name's been there in every organization for the last couple of years he's he's so strong Ben. i mean 30 plus points per game on average he can do it in the playoffs he can get a bucket whichever way he wants to you're making this trade in a heartbeat for philly but on the washington side man oh man you'd have to think there's a better package out there than than ben simmons tybul who can't really score maxi i would say is the only real plus of that uh that whole entire trade package really Mm-hmm. Man, I, I look at that as a really nice return because Ben Simmons still has a lot of value. Brings a lot of defense to that Washington Wizards team, which they have had none of. But they don't have player. scoring, and you're trading away Washington's sc- only scorer. We, the Wizards are all offense all the time. That's that's their squad. Who's, that's their bread and Bradley butter. Beal scoring 35 points per game, who is scoring on that team? Well, right now, Russell Westbrook, all these, like, they have guys. You're not bringing in Ben Simmons to put him around Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is not, him and Simmons aren't that, aren't that complimentary of each other. That'd be the least compatible duo in the NBA. Russell Westbrook has also indicated he might be looking for a trade as well after they fired Scott Brooks. But the the Wizards have been all offense for the past couple of seasons. I don't know what you're talking about. They've been a high fire power Who is scoring when they're not getting the benefit of Bradley Beal's playmaking? They have all offensive players. They're put up 140 points per game. That's that's not going to change. Or it's going to change, certainly, without getting rid of Bradley Beal. But they'll still be firing on all cylinders there. You're bringing in a max so you can still control the offense a little bit. That, that roster will be reconstructed there. But they need defense. They need defense to that squad. So, I don't know. I, I think that's a solid return. A, a couple of really young guys and a guy with star potential in Ben Simmons... For a, a Bradley Beal who would likely be leaving your team if you're going to end up trading him regardless, that's that's a nice return there, Riker. Maybe if you can trade Russell Westbrook for to the Lakers for all of the Lakers' young pieces yeah. as well, like Taylor Horton Tucker, maybe you get Kyle Kuzma. You're, you're going really wild here because you have half of the Shanghai Sharks team assembled if you're trading for Kuzma and Ben Simmons. <laughs> I don't love this one for Washington. I'm not necessarily a fan of Washington, but it went from... Maybe they're going to sign DeMar DeRozan and do one trade to bring in a center or something like that. So now you have Westbrook, DeRozan, Bradley Beal, and a better well, defending a center, centers. Hachimura, Vija. You have a bunch of young players. Now you're going to blow up the roster, trade Beal, get back Simmons, and figure out what you – I don't know. I just – I don't like the direction that that leads them down. So I, I'm saying pass to this one as well, Ben. I don't know. I like the young pieces and Simmons there. Obviously, I, I Denny completely slipped my mind, but he's an offensive piece – bryant gafford they have a lot of guys and you can sign some players it's tough but they exactly they have a lot of centers and power forwards already and i'd assume that's what you'd be bringing ben simmons back in as and, so and him, and Hachi, I don't love him and hachimura will be a defensive presence on the wing but yeah let's know i think that's a debatable trade in the comment section so leave some comments on all of these trades and subscribe to courtside dodge still got two trades to go but Riker, we've been slacking on plugging all of the uh plugging the subscribers we appreciate everyone that's <sighs> gotten in the subscription section whatever it's called we the like section the subscribe section but like you know help out the channel help out the growth it really helps us out cheers us up on these pods too but let's break down the fourth trade Riker, and in this one the cleveland cavaliers interesting obviously uh colin sexton is a guy that's been brought up in a lot of deals i don't know what your thoughts on this will be i think this could be decis- divisive as well but sexton akoro and kevin love team olympian kevin love i might add to for ben simmons and george hill obviously yeah, george well, straight automatically would not work because sexton he's already out isn't he? his contracts up for renewal this year no you can sign an extension this offseason so he still oh, is on rookie but... deals yep somebody has to offer and so it can only be cleveland that offers him the extension yep. this year yeah unless he gets straight yeah, you to know team. yeah yeah you know ponder you just might do this if you're cleveland you just might do this if you're cleveland you have darius garland you bring mm-hmm. in ben simmons you have jared allen maybe you're gonna draft evan mobley i don't know what your intention is maybe you get jalen green and you you slide ben simmons in there as the center again ben simmons at center I would hope any team is looking at him saying, let's make him our power forward or center. Mm -hmm. I just don't see a world where Ben Simmons 
is going to continue as an NBA point guard if he can't shoot from anywhere on the court. That's just my my two cents. I'd say you do this if you're Cleveland and you swallow Ben Kevin Love's contract, right? You hate to see that one there, but you get decent return, Sexton Okoro. This is the only thing is Sexton is not, he's a score first point guard, right? And I don't know if you want score first on Philly. I, I'm not sure. See, I think for Philly side of things, Okoro is a very interesting young player. He has extremely high ceiling. So three and D definitely the defense is there right now. He played a lot of minutes for that Cleveland team and showed a lot of potential. So he's a nice young piece, high lottery pick. And then Colin Sexton, obviously ridiculous scoring numbers. And I think in a proper system, he'd be a capable passer to get the ball to Embiid, but they need a guy that can stretch the floor, do things, get get to the rim. Obviously, he's, he can shoot, but he's not a ridiculous three-point shooter. He's kind of compared to a Monte Ellis-style guy from talking to Cleveland fans. So it's a, he'd be an interesting fit, but he is a scoring guard. And then obviously, you bring in Kevin Love, who contract is, is a big yikes. That's 100%. But healthy... Obviously, that's a big question mark. Is he healthy? Is he not? Probably not. And maybe plays. he'd want to play on Philadelphia. Yeah, you yeah. never know. But exactly. I just thought of this too. You'd be stuck because you'd be in a bind. You have Tobias Harris contract and Bede's contract, Kevin Love's contract. You'd only get one season with Sexton. He wants a max. You wouldn't even have money to you have his sign him, resign you him. You just have to go into the luxury to. tax. You have to go way into yeah. the luxury tax. And I don't know if Sexton's that guy. I just firmly don't believe. Colin Sexton should get a max contract. I firmly disagree with his suggestion that he's that guy because to me, a max contract guy is a guy that should be your number one or number two option. And he's just not. He's just not a number one or number two option. Maybe I'm going to eat my words and I'm fine to do that from time to time, but I don't know. I, yeah, this would be a tough trade. This is like if you are really intent on trading Ben Simmons and there's no other package out there available to you you make this trade if you're Philadelphia but yeah and this... for, just for Cleveland side of things too I think this is a really nice deal for Cleveland if they get Jalen like the Green because the scoring for Jalen yeah. Green you get Darius Garland there you already have Seti then you have a front court of that of the defense of Ben Simmons and Jared Allen that yeah. could be that could be a ferocious but then two team. non-shooters right Jared Allen can shoot in the mid-range a little bit yeah, mid range a little bit and nowhere at all on the court. That's That'd be fair. a tough front court. So, but you get you got a lot of scoring in the back court there. But the defense would just be nice. The defense is what I'm looking at. Defense would the, be nice. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. But the final one, and I think I, I might make the thumbnail with this one. Save it for the end. But Riker, throwing it up here. Kyrie Irving. It's been rumored that the Nets might be interested in moving on from Kyrie Irving. They were disappointed when he uh when he left had a mid season disappearance act and then he went to a party and then it was it was a very weird situation a very Kyrie-esque situation and they were frustrated with him obviously he's a tremendous talent but he is always hurt when it matters most he had one run really when he wasn't and they won the championship so there's that and they were pretty up they were big time up on the the Milwaukee Bucks when Kyrie was playing in this year's playoffs but the Bucks were making a little bit of a run before he went down with injury Riker if He's on the market if he steals. Maybe Brooklyn would receive a couple picks in this one, considering Ben Simmons' trade value. But the, the contracts just line up perfectly. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on a Ben Simmons-Kyrie Irving swap? I'm questioning the legitimacy, because I saw him too. The rumors around Kyrie Irving mm -hmm. potentially being on the block. or Whispers they're, they're that just... he could potentially be listen to about trade offers that was, I think that was to, the, the, that, the that's what it was quote. there uh, yeah i mean let, let let's say it let's just call a spade a spade let's say it as it is i think kyrie irving has to be everybody's least favorite nba player he just seems like don't such go on an nba twitter saying that don't <laughs> strange people person. like him he just <laughs> he just like can't him. stand to watch this guy except i can stand to watch him play basketball mm -hmm. I think he's asserted himself as maybe the best point guard in the NBA when he was healthy playing this season. It's hard to deny Curry, that. Curry, Damian efficiency. Lillard, way better than Kyrie Irving. Not even, not even no. close. Not when even he close. was healthy playing this season, no. I think his efficiency get out of here That's catapulted black. him. That's why into that position. That's no, why I, I would. I'm going to firmly stand Ugh. on that island. Disgusting. I don't know Disgusting if this is the take. return. Simmons plus a bunch of picks. Maybe you do it. You're listening to that, but. You probably sweep the Bucks if Kyrie Irving didn't go down with injury. I think it'd be foolish to trade him. 
I, I I do this even if Kyrie wasn't weird or wasn't disappearing and you weren't frustrated with him. You get that defense. The Nets need defense. That's what they they have to instill in their rosters. There's questions about Blake Griffin returning. James Harden is the point guard for that team. James Harden, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, Ben Simmons, and then you get a decent five, or you can even get a different power forward and run Simmons at the center. That's Chris Boucher. Well, trade that, Jalen Harris. That's who they're interested in. Hopefully that's a that's as Raptors fans, we don't want to see that. But I just think that team makes a lot more sense. He's the Draymond Green esque player for that squad. And Kyrie Irving, he's never healthy when it matters most. He's always disappearing. He's always getting hurt. So, I don't know. People love Kyrie Irving, and I get flamed for just me not being high on him. I think it's absolutely absurd that you called him in the top, even top three point guards in the league right now. That's a, I don't know. That's that's ferociously silly. Silly. He's probably the be- healthy this season. He was probably the best point guard in the NBA. Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, without a doubt above him. James Harden's a point guard right now. Efficiency was no. off the charts. And James Harden winning. Th- was off the charts. Winning. No. Yes. James Harden, they, they had the best record when James Harden was on that squad. They were okay when he was with Kevin Durant. Obviously, they had two good games in the playoffs. I'm not taking this Kyrie pop propaganda. It's, wow. it's foolishness. Wow. Kyrie, hater. He's, hater. You know what they say, what they say with uh, with uh, Patrick Beverly? He fooled y'all with, that, uh, with jumping around, running around a lot. Kyrie has fooled everyone with him dribbling around you a lot and like hitting hater, one ben. shot. I don't know. You sound like a hater. <laughs> <laughs> that's just my take i think like he's good i'm not denying he's good but he's no wow. dame he's no curry he's no hard you're a hater get out of here get out of here he's no that. who was the last Harden. one he's no hard Harden. Yeah. oh you're a hater no get you're that get that silly stuff out of here that's that's no. my take on kyrie irving but it is what it is anyways those are five ben simmons trades let's know what you if you think firstly if you think he's gonna get traded if you liked any of these deals which one which ones you like most Get, get the trade machine yourself and let us know in the comment section. We'll check them out. Check us out on Instagram, TikTok, all that cool stuff. As we mentioned earlier, subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot, especially if you like these videos. Riker, do you have any last words on Ben Simmons getting traded potentially? <laughs> I wish I did. I'm expecting him gone. I don't know if it'll be any of these five teams, though. We'll see. Cheers.